ear is a difficult sound because it does not exist in that way in the English language. It's a little bit like the E sound, which does exist in English, and you know it from words like B or beer or something like that. However, in Norwegian, when we say E, we smile a little bit more, like this. You see, E, and it's pretty much of a forced smile, so it's very, the, the, the mouth is pretty narrow. When we say E, we have the same position of the lip, like this, this forced smile, okay? So notice the difference, E, E. So what is the difference actually? When we say E, then our tongue is a little bit round within the mouth, like this, the back of the tongue goes up. When I say E, it goes down a little bit, so that there is a little bit more space in my mouth, okay? E, like this, and E, like this, okay? Practice this again with easy letter combinations. For example, B, B. Li, le, and so on. Once you manage this, try to practice it in words that have the e sound in the Norwegian language. One more word about the e and e sound. When they are short, we don't have to smile that much. The sound is about the same, but again, we don't smile that much. For example, we say tail and you see it's something different than D or then, which is something different than am. Okay, so it's basically the same sound, but you don't have to smile that much, which means that the sound is not going to be that narrow. It's going to be a little bit brighter than in the long E and E words.